Hi folks, we're back at the bees. It's October the 19th today and we're here to do a little bit of uh, maintenance on the on the colonies. The um, honey's been taken off the last trip out and uh, now we're bound down to basic uh, brood boxes. What we need to do today is put um, formic acid pads on for mite treatment and feed some antibiotic for American fowl brood disease, just the prevention. And so we'll go through ins installing the, uh, the feeder tray in the uh, in one of the colonies so that you can see what we're doing. I like to use these these um, hive mounted feeder boxes as. Uh, what I like to use, what the heck happened there? We got a zoom going on. I didn't want Sarah. There, there we go. So I like to use these. Um, they're internal, and you fill these troughs up with with syrup. These things float on top of the syrup, and the bees come up through this middle piece here and um, take the feed back down. So. They work quite well. I like those because the it prevents a little bit of robbing that might go on. Um, it keeps the uh, the bees that you're you're trying to feed working on what you've given them to feed instead of other bees stealing it. That's the, my theory anyway. And I use these frames for my formic acid pads. And there's Chuck. He's doing a little bit of property maintenance today, cutting the grass just before winter. So there we go. For now. So here's an example of the formic acid pad installed on the colony. I use this rack here to keep it off the bees. It creates a little bit of air space. And uh, as far as feeding goes, uh, the very first thing I do is weigh the hive with my like heft it. And um, judging on how heavy it feels, I uh, decide whether or not to feed from there. This one feels light so I'm going to put the feeder on it and fill it up with sugar syrup. Uh, the formic acid pads, you really have to use care with these things. They're pretty strong. These ones here I've made myself. I saved old pads in the past that I bought and the formula for uh, um, the formic acid, 70% formic acid, I believe it is. Uh, you need two liters of formic acid per eight pads. So you would remove the plastic, put the uh, dry pads into a pail, let them soak up those two liters, and then, in this case, I put it back into the original wrapping because it's got these little holes, which is uh, you put the holes facing down, and when the, uh, the theory is when the when the hive warms up. The vapors flood the colony and kill the mites. Really, we need warmer weather for the formic acid pads, but we don't have that luxury at the moment, and I'm really hoping that um, we do get some warmer weather next week. Now, we've got the feeder on there. I'm going to fill the feeder with sugar syrup. I have to put this down, I think, because I can't... I can't, uh, I can't film and do this at the same time, so. Sugar syrup, we make that by adding two parts sugar, one part water. You can make it thicker if you want with three parts sugar, three parts water. Um, it's less work for them to do if you do that. They don't have to evaporate so much water. And because the colony is leaning towards the front, as they should be, to prevent the rain, to, to help the rain run off, I'm just going to put a piece of wood under the front uh, just to get that level right. 
so I can add more sugar, more sugar syrup. Yeah, that's pretty good now. Now I can get more in there so it doesn't flow out of the front. So I'll fill it right to the top. If a little bit drizzles down, it's a good. It gets them started. These little floater racks fit on the top there. So they come in from the middle. So now they would come in from the middle, walk across those little boards, and they would take the syrup down. There, you get a better shot there. There is another form of, of mite uh, treatment strips, which are called mite away strips, which I do have some of. I'm using them as well today. And as you can see, they're um, you need gloves on. It's pretty strong. So we would open this package along the line, lay it on the top of those frames, and hope for the best. So open the package, lay it on the uh, frames like so. And, as you can see, it's a sticky, gooey mess, so you want to be wearing gloves. These things are pretty, um, also don't breathe too deeply when you're putting them on. They, rec they actually recommend a respirator. Um, I've never really needed one, unless I'm actually making up those pads I showed you earlier. I need a respirator for that. This isn't too bad. Um, they say that these don't work effectively below 10 degrees it's below 10 degrees today and I'm really hoping for some warm weather next week so October came uh, around for me very quickly and it's been cold usually October is a little warmer than this it caught me a bit off guard so I was prepared to use the uh, formic mite treatment and the mite away pads this fall so I'm taking a chance on it working I don't think I've got a very severe mite problem anyway in my colonies. Um, I've seen very few throughout the summer so I'm not too concerned uh, providing we get some warm weather I should be okay. So we're gonna put some feed on this one it's not too heavy I just hefted it. We've got one good box of, col of uh, honey on the top the bottom box is completely empty so we're going to um, feed this colony as well.